good time to call up the Max. I think it is time to call up Mr. Bernier. Maxime, t'es-tu là, Maxime? Parce que on vous aime. Ah oh oui, Maxime, il arrive. Oui, il arrive. Nothing can stop what's coming, Canada. Look at Canada the Brave, an inspiration to the world. Yeah, like, what? What did Canada just do? What just happened in sleepy Canada? We held the line, Canada the Brave, you brave soldiers. All right, do we have Mr. Bernier? Is he getting through autographs and selfies? All right. It's a little congested here, guys. The best stage in the world. We'd like to thank the owner of this crane truck. Anytime you need a crane, this is the guy. We'll be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Maxime, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Maxime Bernier. Hello, everybody. You know, we need to thank our truckers because they're the one, they're the one who gives, gave us hope. They are giving up hope that all this journey will end. That will be the Canada Day. It is the Canada Day. It is our day today. We celebrate our freedoms. I just want, I just want to briefly discuss two ideas today: freedom and tenacity. I'm here today like you because we know that our freedoms are under attack. Yes on the attack by these establishment politicians. And we are saying enough is enough because, because only, only in a free society is there human dignity, equality of rights, and economic prosperity. So, we need to regain our freedom as soon as possible. And now, as you know, I was last summer in Manitoba and I was arrested and cuffed and put in jail for fighting against this tyranny. I can tell you today that I'm ready to go back to jail to fight for our freedoms! Because, because what makes Canada, what makes our country a great country and a great place to live is that for a century and a half, that country has been the freest countries in the world. And now, that's not the case anymore. That's why, that's why I'm mad today, and you can call me Mad Max. I'm very mad because I don't recognize our country anymore. J'aimerais dire à nos concitoyens de partout du Canada et du Québec, lâchez pas et remerciez les camionneurs du Québec et du Canada qui ont donné l'exemple et qui nous ont donné du courage, le courage de se battre pour nos libertés. Merci, merci. And now, I just want, I just want to end by a quote from a great Prime Minister, 
John D. Van Baker. John D. Van Baker said, I'm a Canadian, a free Canadian, free to speak without fear, free to worship God in my own way, free to stand for what I think right, free to oppose, free to oppose what I believe wrong, free to choose who govern my country. This heritage of freedom I pledge upon for myself and all mankind. So that battle of freedom is an historical one. And like John F. Kennedy once said, in the long history of the world, only few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its maximum hour of danger. You are that generation. This is your role. And now is the time! You must be super spreaders of freedom! 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 freedom. Thank you all for being here. And Canada welcomes freedom today, this weekend and always. And I want to say this, we know this, truckers go the distance. Truckers go the distance. Doesn't matter where truckers have come from, from thousands of miles away, from east coast and west coast, they've gone the distance. And this is one thing that we know for sure. We know for sure this. They won't be running home empty. They're going to be a full load on their beds. A full load of freedom. Freedom. That's what they'll be running home with. Because truckers bring freedom home. <laughs>